Many of us probably know a lake which is pretty isolated from other bodies of water. Whether it's just not connected to any rivers or it's in the mountains in the middle of nowhere, many of these lakes still have fish. Which begs the question, how did these fish get there? More than likely, the fish first arrived at these lakes through flows of water connecting to these lakes which don't exist anymore, such as a river or stream. Many years ago, these rivers or streams dried up, and the lake itself has been supplemented through things such as rain and melting snow. And that is the reason why the lakes don't dry up. However, how have these fish stayed alive for multiple generations? These fish are combined to a lake, and oftentimes the lake is very small. All the things the fish needs to survive is in just one large pool. One bad winter can mess up the tiny ecosystem and kill off most of the fish. So how do the fish survive that? Before I get into that, I want to start with how the fishes individually survive the winter. Many fish go into a state where they swim to the deepest part of the lake, stay there all winter, and slow their heartbeat down. This is often called a winter rest. In this state, they don't need as much food and oxygen. This is very effective in helping fish survive for decades in, one of in a single one of nature's glorified bathtubs. However, winter can be harsh, especially in mountainous areas where there are a lot of lakes full of fish. You know, because there's a lot of snow up there, it's colder. So when the winter rest fails them, how do they carry on through generations? One of the most common ways for lakes to replenish their fish is through us, people, introducing them there. Many of you probably already know this, but us humans have these things called fish hatcheries. Fish hatcheries are essentially fish farms, and fish produced from them are often dumped into lakes to help struggling fish populations or to introduce new fish populations when we decide the ecosystem needs it. The method of putting these fish into the lakes is called fish stocking. In conclusion, fish arrived to the isolated lakes where they live now a long time ago and survived by winter rests and are helped by us in our fish stocking. Even though these fish are in isolated lakes many miles away from other bodies of water, they are an important part of the ecosystems around them as they are a main food source for other animals and a predator for bugs. Oftentimes they are a food source for large birds such as eagles or maybe ospreys. As a quick disclaimer that I like to put at the end of my videos, I am not a scientist. I'm a guy with a YouTube channel. Your own research is always encouraged. And I appreciate learning more about these topics from the comments. So if you have anything to contribute, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.